Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at the total cost of ownership, also known as TCO, uh, to really understand what it is that uh, you know we are paying for when we're using on-premise, and what we're paying for or not have to pay for when we're using GCP. These break down to CAPEX and OPEX. Notice here at the top, we're gonna talk about that in the next slide here. Um, now, Google Cloud doesn't actually ever mention TCO, uh, even though it's pretty common across all the other cloud service providers, but it does tie back to CAPEX and OPEX, so we're gonna cover it anyway, and it's good to know this, okay? So to understand the TCO concept, I have these icebergs to really make sure, or to sell you that these are icebergs, I put some penguins and a whale on it for you. For you. But the idea is that we have things that are above the surface, and these are things that we generally think about, and then the things below the surface, under the water, are the things that we're not thinking about that really should, helps us factor in the total cost of ownership. So when we're looking at things that are obvious, people think about, well, uh, you know, for on-premise, we just have to pay for our software license fees, right? If you have... Um, uh, Microsoft uh, servers, you pay for those licenses. And then on GCP, well, you just pay subscription fees. So maybe you're not paying for the licenses, but now you're just paying for uh, using the services uh, on demand, right? And so they might look at it and say, well, you know, the costs aren't, they look pretty comparable. But then when you get below the surface, we talk about, because remember, on-premise, you, you have control, of, uh, you have those physical machines there, right? So there's the implementation, the configuration, the training, the physical security, the hardware, the IT personnel, the maintenance, there's a lot of cost in um, actually uh, having those physical machines and all the stuff around them, where as uh, in the cloud service provider, uh, you are worried about the implementation, the configuration, training, like how to use cloud services, but you're not worried about all that other physical stuff. And the idea here is that you can save uh, up to 75% shifting over to a cloud service provider. Uh, GCP doesn't have an example of a, a cost saving example, but AWS does, and they show like 75%, it's gonna be the same for all the, the CSPs. Uh, and the idea now is all this stuff in the red here is now the cloud service provider's responsibility. You don't have to worry about it. So let's talk about capital versus operational expenditures. So capital expenditures known as CAPEX and operational expenditures known as OPEX, right? And so on the CAPEX side, this is where you're spending money upfront on physical uh, infrastructure and deducting that expense from your tax bill over time. So that's where a lot of people go, well, you know, I can get this machine and then write it off uh, year after year. And I guess that sounds okay, but you're, you're gonna save way more money, <laughs> way, way more money than getting that, that small tax benefit. But let's talk about what are CAPEX expenses. So you have server, uh, server costs of the computers, the storage costs, so like hard drives, network costs, routers, cables, switches, backup and archive costs, disaster recovery costs, data center costs, so rent, cooling, physical security, the technical personnel. So with capital expenses, you have to guess upfront what you're going to plan on spending, right? Because you're going to, you're, once you have those, you're going to hold on to them for a period of time, right? For operational expenditures, the cost associ associated with the on-premise data center uh, has now shifted to the service provider. So you only have to worry about non-physical costs. So this is leasing software and customizing features, training employees and customer services, paying for cloud support. Uh, your billing is based on cloud metrics, so compute usage, storage usage, and with operational expenses, you can try a product or service without having to invest in the equipment. So you can spend a lot more time in things that matter to grow your business, and you don't have to immediately commit to a bunch of stuff. You have a lot of flexibility there, okay? So that's the huge difference.